our favorite leaping lemur buddy? Huh, me neither. Let's call him. Zabumafu! Zabu! Hey, Zabumafu! Woo! Hey, Zabu! Zabumafu! Hey, there he is. Come on! All right, here's a question for you, Zabu. Is there a snake anywhere in the world who's white and furry like your tail? That'll get him talking. Guess not. Well, you know, Zabu, no yakking until he's done some snacking. <laughs> garbanzo beans! Hey, Zabu, how about some garbanzo beans? Yeah, you love these, huh? I know I always say green is a yummy color, but you know what? So is yellow, yeah! yeah. It's yummy if it's yellow, 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 yellow. It's yummy if it's yellow, no, no. I eat in the winter, I eat in the summer. I eat it all the time in all kinds of weather. Yellow things are my favorite things, cause yellow's a yummy color. Yummy color. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Don't throw roses, throw garbanzo beans. <laughs> yeah. What? These aren't garbanzo beans? Oh well, bean is a yummy color. That was <laughs> a great number, Zabu. <laughs> Zabu? Zabu? Where'd Zabu go? Uh, I'm here, <laughs> under a mountain of green, because green is a yummy color too. <laughs> well, <laughs> start snacking, Zabu. Oh, I can't. I was eating little yellow mangoes in a tree, and I almost ate something yellow that I don't eat. A little yellow creature. Nice, but not yummy. At least not for a lemur. <laughs> who? Oh, I don't know who. Can you help me? Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this? I was sitting in a tree eating yellow things, and I almost bit him. Who could it be? This animal who I didn't see. Bogotska! Bogotska! Animal! He had a long body without any legs. Hey, who? Legless, long-bodied creature. Do you know who he is? Okay, let's see. Well, I know what kind of creature it is, but what species? Yeah, there are so many different kinds of yellow snakes. Bothrop Schlegeli? Morelia viridis? Yeah. Whoa! An Amazon tree boa. Oh, amazing. 
Mystery animal here. Snake-a-delic. Brothers, I can't believe my mind. He's just a little guy, only eight weeks old, but he's already acting like a big, tough snake. If there's any movement that gets too close to him, he strikes. Pa, pa, pa. See what I mean? So always remember, give a snake his space. Lots of space, lots of space. Look at this. Hmm? Believe it or not, this snake is the little yellow guy's mom. No, she's not. She's darker. Oh, Amazon Trebo is coming all different hmm? colors, Sabu. Red, orange, yellow, black, and brown. Yep, this brown snake is the yellow snake's mother. And the little yellow guy will get just as big, but will always stay yellow. Hey, you kind of looks like my nose. <clears throat> Amazon tree boas hang out in the trees of the Amazon rainforest, and that takes amazing muscle control. Look how she can stretch from one tree to another. Check this out. This is the classic way the Amazon tree boa rests on a branch. She balances half her body on one side of the branch and half her body on the other side. Whoa. <laughs> what does his tongue feel like, Sabu? Soft. Kind of flicky like. Where's his belly? My belly's right here. You can see it, especially when I'm vooky. I don't even think a snake has a belly. Yeah, Zabu, a snake has a belly. It's just a very long, thin belly. See it right there? That's all belly. Super snake bellies? That's amazing. Uh, super snake bellies? Hey, I like that. That's what I'm going to say when I see something that's long and amazing. Super snake bellies. Super <laughs> snake bellies. <laughs> <laughs> and there goes this super snake belly. Super snake bellies. A snake skin. Check it out, Zabu. A snake skin? But where's the snake? Oh, the snake's not in here anymore, Zabu. He or she shed. Shed it? Why? Well, a snake sheds because her skin doesn't grow with her. So in order to grow bigger, she has to shed her old skin. It peels right off. And her fresh new skin is right there underneath. Super snake bellies. He took his old skin off, so now you can see his new skin. Well, hey, why don't you guys do that? Why don't you shed like a snake? <laughs> shed! 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 Oh, no. What are you doing? Well, shed! Uh, shed! Whoa! <laughs> shed! 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 Sabu, these are closed. We can't shed them here. Shed! Well, what about lemurs? Well, I guess so. Okay, then. The only question is, what to wear? <laughs> I'm going to the closet to get some clothes to wear. <laughs> skin is itchy. It's it's too small. I'm gonna shed it. Shed it all. <laughs> hey, you can join me. You can shed too. Everybody, shed, shed, shed! <laughs> oh, my new skin feels so nice. But the question is, whose skin is this? That's a tough question. Yeah, there are so many snakes in the world. Yeah, about 2,090. That's about right. There are snakes with amazing camouflage patterns so they can hide, like this boa constrictor. Look at how his pattern blends into the forest floor. But then there are snakes without much of a pattern at all, like this yellow rat snake. And don't forget about the coral snake. His brightly colored rings say, stay away from me, I'm venomous. And the desert horned viper has sand colored skin and little horns over his eye. I see, I see. And you sort of have a dog face, but the snake skin is different. So the skin doesn't belong to you, does it? But whose skin is it? That's what we have to find out. Let's split up and find the snake who fits the skin. All right, now if you want to find a snake, you have to think like a snake. So, if you were a snake, where would you be? How about a snake's favorite spot? Way up in the trees, sunbathing. Snakes are cold-blooded creatures, so they need to get heat from the sun before they can go on and do all their snake business. And there's always water, the perfect place to find amazing snakes like the heaviest snake in the world, the anaconda. But this pond's a little too small. Let's look somewhere else. 
In the right water habitat, you can find amazing snakes, like the cottonmouth, one of the few snakes who floats on top of the water when she swims. So that's where we're going to look, around water. Tell me if you see a snake in here. You found her! An anaconda. She looks about eight feet long. Anacondas are a type of water boa. And see how her nostrils are on the top of her head? That's so she can stay almost completely underwater, but still breathe and see above water. How long can she stay underwater? About 10 minutes before she has to take another breath. Wow, you're amazing, Anaconda. But I don't think she belongs to the skin. You're right, Zabu. Huh? Look, the skin and the snake don't match. First of all, the skin is way too short for this long snake. And then look at her spots. Oh. See, she has spots on her skin, but this snake's skin doesn't have any spots on it. Oh. So she's an amazing snake, but she's not the snake we're looking for. All right, it's time for me to find the snake who fits the skin. You. Chris, I'm going to find the snake who fits the skin. Oh, no way, not before me. <laughs> I have to hurry if I'm going to beat Chris. Let's check that sunny spot over by the window. Come on. An eastern diamondback rattlesnake. Wow. Look at that tail rattle. Special scales in the tail make the sound. Let me see. Don't get too close, Abu, because the snake I found is venomous. He's a diamondback rattlesnake, the largest rattlesnake in the world. But he sure is Mangatsika, and look what he can do with his tail. Yeah, a rattlesnake is famous for that tail which rattles, saying, don't get too close or I'll bite and poison you. Well, I'm very happy right here. <laughs> and you know what else is really amazing? Uh -huh. Is the way a rattlesnake can see in the dark. Uh -huh. You want to see like a rattlesnake? So, I'll put the eye spies uh -huh. on. Okay. Because there is a solar eclipse coming in. Solar eclipse? Yeah. A solar eclipse is when the moon goes in front of the sun. It blocks it out and makes everything dark. Hey, it is dark. I know. Here, now let's sit these to Rattlesnake. Uh -huh. And now you can see the world the way a rattlesnake sees it. Whoa, I can't believe my mind. You guys look weird. What you're seeing, Zabu, is the heat of our bodies. That's what a rattlesnake senses. It's almost like he's seeing heat. So even in the darkest of night, he can sense the body heat of other creatures. Hey, eclipse is over. <laughs> what great timing. And now it's time to see if this is the snake we're looking for. Aha! Uh -huh. The snake skin doesn't belong to the rattler. They don't match. You're right, Zabu. The rattler has diamond shape, uh -huh. and this skin doesn't. Oh, well, yeah. We have to keep searching for the snake who fits this skin. Ooh, keep searching for the snake who fits this skin. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if Chris is having any luck. Whoa, a Burmese python, and a huge one. Oh, python looks even bigger than anaconda. No. A 100 pound, 14 foot long, super snake belly. Most snake species are oviparous. Oviparous means they lay eggs. But the Burmese python is one of the few snakes that stays with the eggs, protects them, and keeps them warm until the baby snakes hatch. That's one long snake belly. Oh, I've got a couple of feet on me, and it's too uh, heavy. I'm being squished by a super huge snake belly. Um, Sabu, let me give you a hand. How about giving me two? Gosh, there you Sabu. I'm trying to, yeah, can you get out? <laughs> Thanks, Chris. Are you saying hello? Hi. Uh, nice to meet you, too. You're very heavy. <gasps> Unbelievable. <gasps> hey, the snake skin, do you think it fits? Huh? Let me get it, just one minute. I think it'll be too small, look at him. <laughs> okay, Zabu, huh? here's the snake skin. You think it fits? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> this snake looks about 10 times as thick and as long as the snake who fits the skin. Yeah, I think you're right. Burmese pythons are the fourth largest snake in the world, and she must be about 14 feet long. Manga Tsika. Hey, Chris, she's so big and long, how can she move with no legs? She moves by using her belly muscles, Zabu. Take a look. Super snake bellies. You know, we better keep looking for the snake that fits this skin. OK.
over here, a sand boa. Doesn't match the skin, but do you want to see why she's called a sand boa? Watch this. Watch what she does as soon as she hits the sand. Her wedge-shaped face starts burrowing under, and the rest of her body follows. That's why she's called a sand boa. Before long, she's hidden beneath the sand. A trans picos rat snake. Hmm. Let's see if the skin fits. Hey, we have racing stripes that match uh -huh. the snake and the skin. Yeah! <laughs> and take a look at this. See how this snake has really bulgy eyes? Mm, yeah. <laughs> that tickles. He tickled my nose. Now, look at the snake skin's eyes. Oh, yeah. They're bulgy too. And you know what else? What else? The same exact length. I think you've done it, Zabu. The snake fits the snake skin. You're the super snake belly we've been looking for. We did it. I can't believe what my eyes are telling my mind. And my mind is telling me. But I can't believe my mind. <laughs> you know what time it is? What? It's time to shed. <laughs> I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel snakish. How about you? Snakish. I feel snakish. <laughs> snakish. I'm a snake bellied slider with a belly of a snake. Okay, guys, it's your turn. Time to shed. <laughs> Forget it, Zab. <laughs> I'm out of here. Come on, Tut. I got them. They shed. <laughs> Oops. Zabu, why don't you tell a story from Zabuland while we get into our new skins? I mean, clothes. Oh, okay. Uh, well, think quick, Zabu. Uh, oh, uh, it happened like this one time in Zabuland. <laughs> I was leaping along. Leap. Leap, leap, and I landed next to Snow Lemur playing in the sand. Hello, Snow Lemur, I said. Uh, oh, uh, hi, Zabu. Uh, you know, when I come down to uh, Zabu land, I like playing in the sand. Yeah, it's uh, cool, oh, cool in the morning, and it uh, reminds me of the snow on top of Mount Zabumafu. Oh, I like the sand, too. It tickles my fingers. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, it feels good in my hands, yeah. It tickles my sides, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It tickles my sides, too. <laughs> oh, yeah, tickle. Yeah, oh, yeah, tickle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. Huh? Sand can't tickle our sides. Huh? You're right, Zabu. It's not sand. Oh, it's me. Fibby. <laughs> so Snow Lemur, Fibby, and I spent the rest of the morning together playing in the sand. <laughs> <laughs> Great story, Zabu. Yeah, thanks for buying us some time. Sure, and you know what time it is now? What? It's time to duck! Duck! Hmm, you guys ducked, but I forgot. And now I got a barn owl on my head and a message in my mouth. <laughs> a message from the animal helpers. <laughs> Where's everybody going? Oh, it's just a snake. A lot of people are afraid of snakes, but no one should be afraid of this harmless king snake. That's pretty silly if you ask me. To get along with snakes, first, you have to learn more about them from books. Most snakes aren't poisonous. But you have to give the poisonous ones their space. Like coral snakes, rattlesnakes, water moccasins, and copperheads. And then you can get to know the rest. Go live free and in the wild.
Snakes are great, but I worry about them. Why, Zob? Well, I think they're lonely because they're always alone. Well, you don't have to worry about snakes being lonely because they just don't think like that. And the other thing is that snakes aren't always alone. Sometimes they come together in a huge group called a hibernaculum. A hibernaculum? I don't know what that is, but it sounds like a trip to me. <laughs> to the closet? To the closet! They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. count on the closet to do what the closet does best. They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. See you later, Zabu. Bye, brothers. We're looking for a hibernaculum. A hibernaculum is a place where thousands of snakes get together to stay warm through the winter. Then in the spring, they all come out. It's an amazing thing, and we don't want to miss it, because it only lasts for a couple of weeks. Hey, I think we've gone too far. Let's, Let's backtrack! Backtracking, that's it. That's how we can find a hibernaculum. Of course, let's find a snake and then follow her track back to the hibernaculum. Now we just have to find a snake. I think the snake found us. All right, I'm on her trail. Back to the hibernaculum. When you're tracking snakes, you gotta get down on your belly. We'll follow the winding trail to this incredible gathering of garter snakes! Look at them all. The snakes are leaving the cave they use as a hibernaculum. Now once the garter snakes come out of the cave, they mate. Then they go off to spend the summer on their own. In the winter, they gather once again at the hibernaculum. It's the only way they can survive the cold. Martin, what do you say we track back to Animal Junction? Yeah, let's go underground, garter snake style. I wonder if Sabu found any snakes. What's that in the water? More snakes! But what kind of snakes are you? Coming in! Magnifica! <laughs> That's not very snaky like. What kind of a snake are you? They're not snakes at all. <gasps> He's an octopus. And those are his tentacles. Hello, octopuses! They're like eight snakes in one who share the same head! Whoa, a young octopus. I can't believe my mind. He's grabbing my finger. Whoa, what an amazing paw, uh, foot, hand, or whatever it is. Huh. Tentacles, up. Tentacle? Hmm, that tentacle's really sucking onto you. Does it tickle? Yeah, it kind of does. Huh. Because on each tentacle, there are little suction cups that can grab on and hold things. Tentacle looks familiar, like another tentacle I know in Sabu Land. <laughs> I was leaping along, leap, 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 and I thought I'd leap over the pond when suddenly I was grabbed blah, by a giant tentacle. Phoebe said, Hi, Zabu. Bet you didn't expect that. No, I didn't, I said. But since I'm here, why not go for a swim? Hey, Slimantha! Why don't you come for a swim with Phoebe and me? No, I don't think so, Zabu. I'm afraid of the water. Afraid? But why, I asked. Well, I don't know what's in here. Yeah. What? Hey, Slimanda, don't be afraid. Why don't you come and see my underwater home? Yeah, it's really great. Well, okay, since you asked. So Slimanda did a spinning back twist in a jelly roll top. And I did a full twisting double back from the pike position. Yay! Coming through fun. <laughs> and we played in Phoebe's underwater home all day and had lots of fun. Yay! The end. Yeah. <laughs> hey, who did that? The octopus did it, Zabu. See that little opening right next to his eye? Uh -huh. That takes water in so the octopus can get oxygen out of the water to breathe. Whoa. And it also helps him squirt water. Whoa. And by squirting, he can get away really fast if he wants to. I like your squirt. Hey, the 
is what I'll call you. Squirt the octopus. <laughs> this animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his body behind. All the friends that we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine. They jump and swim, crawl, fly, and climb. One more thing we have to say. Go make an animal friend today. Yeah! What? Snake bellies are super bellies. Yeah. Guess I'd better leave home. Well, we have to get going, because we have a lot more adventures to get to today. And I bet you do, too. See you next time. Hi, my name's Jacob. This is my dog, Howie.